burning question is glasses or no glasses my lovelies if you're wondering what I'm doing I am crazily trying to fit in a workout which is rather difficult these days with uh, three boys under five and uh, some stairs with this little guy in tow and I like to do about half an hour of this every alternate day if I can and I feel it keeps me mentally sane and physically you know I'm doing something good for my body and doing something for myself so just thought I'd give you a glimpse into what morning workouts can be and sometimes they're not morning sometimes they're afternoon because we never know what kind of a morning we're gonna have <laughs> I will check in with you guys later and I find myself in the familiar situation of never having washed my shaker bottles from the night before so I've just given them a wash. I like to have a protein shake after I work out. Just purely for financial reasons, I've gone for a 40% off vegan pea protein. I usually do um, use a vegan pea protein by New Zest. But just to save a bit of coin during these uh, trying times, I went for this one and I got a kilo of it. And uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's quite... Uh, not very subtle. It's got quite a strong flavour. I always keep a bottle of... Uh, cold water in the fridge because I like to have my protein shakes cold. I don't know about anyone else, but I can't seem to, you know, digest them lukewarm. I do about three fifty, a lot more than recommended on the packet, because again, it's quite a strong over this one. And then I add only half a scoop of protein, as I find that's just enough for me. So let's do about fifteen grams. See if we can get that on the money. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Well, pretty much perfect. And, uh, oh, let's not forget as well. I also, sorry, I had to cut you there off, folks. I also use collagen powder every day. This is from Neutral Organics. I've been using this for a while, and I do definitely notice a difference in um, the strength of my hair, my nails, <coughs> and my skin's a lot more bouncy I'd say I mean that one's a bit harder to tell but definitely the hair and nails I've noticed a huge difference and I'm sure it's doing some good for my skin also and just for the sake of today the first time I've done this I'm using some brewer's yeast so I am currently breastfeeding and I heard this is good for milk supply and I usually bake these into little like uh, treats but just for convenience and sometimes you, know, you don't always feel like eating a cookie or well, sometimes you do just add half a teaspoon of that protein shake no baby that's not for you I'm currently doing this one-handed if you couldn't tell and let's see how this tastes with the brewer's yeast luckily I've diluted this already so it should be fine and it's another beautiful Sunday did I say another? I meant, um, well, we haven't had many nice Sundays to be honest. And I'm just making my morning porridge, so I thought I would show you what we're up to. Please excuse the, the mess. Now, in here we've got rolled oats, linseed meal and chia seeds, all weighed out. 
and I'm just about to add my almond milk and I use this brand by uh, Khalifa because it's not only one of the best tasting ones but it's also got added calcium which is really important. I add just as much as it needs. Now I love a really soupy porridge so I add quite a generous amount for what is required. Like I add at least double. Oh, and it looks like it's a bit frozen, guys. It's usually not like this. It's just a bit, a bit frozen, <gasps> which is okay. It's going to get warmed up anyway. Okay, so we're stopping there. Give it a swirl. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, let's leave it there. And on the hop. Now, I also add to my porridge, my morning porridge, and this is only what I have after a workout. I generally try to keep my higher carbohydrate meals after I work out, whatever time of day that is, generally in the morning. And I add just a little bit of salt. And I love a bit of cinnamon. I think porridge and warming cinnamon in the morning, there's nothing quite like it. Also very important to the ultimate creamy porridge is to keep stirring. Nurse that thing, baby that thing, stick a YouTube video in the background, tend to your children, as I would usually be doing. Um, and yeah, just continue stirring. Now, as you can see, it's starting to gel together because of those two seeds and the roots. And believe it or not, folks, I like it even soupier than this. So I'm just going to add a little bit of boiling water and let that continue to gel up. That's more like it. It's more like a porridge soup, really. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and I like to finish my granola with my granola. My porridge with a bit of yogurt on the side. I get this one by Eos. It's just the thickest, creamiest yogurt. I mean, look at that. It's so thick and beautiful. And then I have my homemade chocolate granola with fresh raspberries, a bit of flaxseed oil and cashew butter. I mean, how gourmet is that? Very gourmet for a Sunday. And nothing better to top off a gourmet bougie porridge then and oat milk coffee. I use these uh, coffee bags actually by Robert Timms, the Italian espresso. And honestly, I prefer this over a takeout coffee. It's always yields a beautiful result, lovely and strong. I do like me a hit in the morning. And this oat milk, oh, don't even go there. And I thought I'd update you on our afternoon. So we have this little fellow on the jelly jumper, a controversial item as it were, but my boys have all been fine using it throughout the years. When they're in age, they can sit up, of course. They sort of jump around and it's very, very entertaining. Can stay here all afternoon watching you. But I have dishes to do. I have laundry to do, which you can hear in the background wuzzing away. And then I have to get ready later on for potential date night tonight, um, which I hope will go ahead because the restaurant hasn't gotten back to me, <coughs> COVID and all that. Um, and so if you do hear a bit of weird noise in the background, it's me expressing, which I have my Medela pumping bra on right now. And then I've got to clean up a ton of a list of things to do, but I thought I would check in just to update you on sleep. I I've had three days of sleep and I do not know myself. I feel like a different woman. Like I am ready to take on the day. You're listening, aren't you? Ready to take on the day by the collar and really get into it. So whatever lies ahead of me today, I am here for it. All that ordinary stuff. So if you're into the ordinary life, plus a little bit of wackiness thrown in, this might be the channel for you. <laughs> Do pardon the um, <clears throat> arrangement on the floor, guys. I am sifting through my wardrobe and clearing out a few things because the baby's asleep and I have a moment to get a few things done. And the dishes are done, by the way, so I have achieved something. This 
a very old top that I wore when I wasn't quite comfortable with my body after my first child and I just wanted something a bit more loose and flattering. I do like the racer neck. It does flatter my body shape because I have very broad shoulders. And I was wondering what a denim on denim would look like and I think I'm really liking this. This is a very cash, you know, Sunday barbecue kind of look. So I think I might keep this. I just thought I'd assess it. With you guys first see what you are feeling on this but i feel like this may not be ready to leave my collection yet all right we are back and we are looking a lot more glamorous than we usually do so we have some decisions to make today basically this bag now this bag wow. is the first <laughs> yes this bag is the first designer bag that i ever purchased when I was away overseas in Canada many years ago. And I don't know whether it's time to say goodbye. I did alter it, if I can show you. These, I guess, sort of buttons. These, what do they call them? Clasps? Let's give the bag a lot of a nicer shape than it was before I did that. And it does come with a crossbody strap, but I found it very unattractive. It's not very relaxed. The quality of the leather, and I think it's actually synthetic leather basically, is um, quite hard. And so if I did wear the bag, I'd probably only wear it like this, on the arm, carried like this. This could be a nice bag, but I think the crossbody strap is not an option. It's too large for a crossbody. It has it's had its time and it's a very neutral colour and I like the gross gold. It does go with this particular outfit. What are we thinking? I'm not sure. And pardon me for my nasally voice. I do have a cold. No, it's not COVID. So let me know in the comments down below. Should we give this away as a lovely present? This bag has not been worn very often. Or keep it. It's by Folly Folly. And what I didn't realise at the time is that they only do synthetic products. So there we go. All right, this is another bag of contention. This is a very, one of my first designer purchases from Furla. As you can see, never been worn, to be honest. And I don't know whether I intend to because I never reach for it. It's just a very basic bag. Even the woman at the store said basically, you know, what am I going to use it for, for work? And I'm like, well, I don't have a corporate job. I think this might have to be one that I give away. I will maybe ask family if they're interested. But I just don't see myself reaching for it. So I think I'm going to have to concede to this one and give this one up. We have this hat. A fedora, nonetheless. And I did wear it a few times. I mean, I just don't think I'm the kind. I mean, it's not like it doesn't suit me. It's, it's, it's okay. But am I ever going to wear this again? I mean... However you wear these things, oh my gosh. I don't know. Am I ever gonna wear this? Probably not. You know what? I'm probably not ever going to wear this hat. So I think the hat and the bag need to go to a nice, loving home. So this is fast turning in to a clearing out my wardrobe pool. And I was going to get rid of this top. Not my style, definitely not, but it has its purpose, so I'm not giving this away quite yet. Right, so this is another flannel style shirt. Again, from years ago when I was in Argentina. A lot of travel shirts. And you know what? I don't. I don't hate it. I'd actually wear this. I feel very comfortable in this. Flannel? I mean, it's not making a comeback, but hell, I'm bringing it back. And especially with the brown leggings, I feel that really adds a lot. I mean, I don't know if I should even get a second pair. These leggings have been amazing. These are from Warner Jane. And to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the fabric because it's not as like, like compressive, but it really works. I'm so glad I invested in these brown leggings. Now this is the outfit of the day. I've got my C by Chloe bag. Makeup is done. Poop earrings are back in. Alphabet's necklace, I'll link that down below. Just a local brand. And uh, breaking out the new ruby boots from Cotton On. In fact, this whole outfit is from Cotton On. And I'll also be linking that down below. But I better get that. Now, I've really got to assess this delivery bloody quickly. This arrived the other day. This top, I thought it was a bit short. And I don't know 
if it's a bit too blocky for the top of me. So I might return this one actually. I just don't know about this top. I liked it because of the high collar and it, this actually does come in a pink. Perhaps the fleshier pink might look better. I mean, it's not bad. This would be nice with the necklace. This is perfect. Wait a second. This comes in a lovely velvet case. Let's have a look. Can I do this one-handed? Oh, I can't. One moment. Here it is. Wow. That is what you call a chunky chain. Let's assess this with the top. So this is my first chunky chain. You do my I'm I haven't done anything to my face first thing in the morning. But just take a look here at this. What are we thinking? I think it's not too bad. Not too bad, especially with this green. I knock my stall over. Um, I think this grows. I think we'll keep it as a statement piece. Next piece is this top here. I don't like how it is thick. I guess you can kind of see every fault, but I can always sort of roll it up, tuck it in, make it to how I want it. That sort of hides the sins, but very flattering. And I love it with this necklace. I really like this chunky necklace. I think I might even invest in a few more pieces. Yeah. Very nice. Hi guys, so Future Me is back. Just uh, letting you know that the following clips were my outfit of choice for our day and night, which actually went ahead, which was fantastic. So I will roll those clips and then I will come back. I will be back after that. And a last minute change of the mind, I think I'm going to do this. Oh, my. My bag just to keep it more casual and I will pair it with some white heels now burning question is glasses or no glasses glasses no no glasses tonight I'll bring them so I can see how deep we're in the <laughs> cooking in her chef's uniform listen to the audio So I hope you enjoyed my final outfit of choice. I will link all similar items down below. So this is again future me from those clips. Do excuse the shoddy footage. That was again me experimenting with vlogging at that time. I thought it was still important to include them as again we're all on this journey and um, I thought there was a lot of value in some of the clips that I included, especially shopping my old wardrobe and rediscovering some bits that I was going to give away, but then decided to keep. And I did decide to keep that hat, by the way. So I will link all similar products down below. I'm not sure if they're all available now still. And all of the products that I have featured are actually all from the Iconic because I just love that place. And it's uh, very convenient for me as I don't get out of the house much with my busy little family. Take care, everybody, and I will see you in my next video. Bye from Future Me, and hopefully, you don't have to see this Future Me segment too many times in the following vlogs that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Alright, take care, guys.